All right, welcome everybody. My name is Shiler and I'm a full-time Elliott Wave trader in the crypto market since 2017. In this video specifically, we're gonna be diving into a trading psychology mini series where I'm gonna go into some of my insights and experiences that I've had through my trading journey all the way from the beginning until now. And I've had quite the roller coaster of, of experiences. And so I feel like there's a lot of insight um, and knowledge and wisdom that I can share with you guys. And some of the things that I did to change it up uh, that helped me and it might be able to help you as well. So I've done this in a structured, organized uh, manner where I've broken it down into frameworks and really put a lot of thought into uh, kind of thinking about what really caused a lot of my issues and how did I how did I fix it? Uh, and then putting that into an organized manner for you guys to be able to take away some knowledgeable insight. So let's dive in. All right, so before I dive into some of my stories and insights and experiences, I just wanna shout out that this is only gonna be the first video released on YouTube. The rest are gonna be inside the Discord um, as the first series of courses to go through absolutely free included in the Discord, uh, which is a paid subscription. So if you wanna learn more about that, just links in the description below. You can check that out and join in for the rest of the videos where I'll actually walk you through some tips and tricks on how I resolved some of the issues and um, psychology behind trading. And to kind of start off, I just want to share some of my experiences that I've had. Um, I started off with only an $800 account, $863 to be exact. Uh, so I have experience, you know, taking a small account and growing it and what it's like to literally sit in front of the screen and just be glued to it, staring at it only to make $2 or $10 on a trade um, and have it really not be worth my time whatso whatsoever. So I, I've, I've been there before. Um, and you know, I've even taken it up to a $30,000 account and then I've completely blown it. So I've endured a pretty significant loss of an, of an entire account size at a, where I brought it back down to about $5,000 uh, and had to regrow it from there and, and re discipline myself and restructure my system that I was using. So I've blown an account. I've had a small account and I trade with large accounts. So I've traded my money, other people's money. Um, I've traded family's money. So that is a whole nother psychology of emotions all in itself when you're dealing with other people's money, especially family members, people I didn't know very well. I just met, um, you know, I've traded with having a job to where I couldn't manage trades and I had to set trades up. I have to have a different system uh, to trading full time where I'm relying on it as bills um, and, and needing it. So I've really had like full, well-rounded experience, I feel like at least. Uh, in regards to trading, going from a small account to big accounts, blowing accounts, trading with a job without a job, uh, you know, doing it full time, putting myself in really stressful situations, being glued to the screen for 10 hours a day, not making any money off of it, um, et cetera. So that, those are the, some of the stories that I, I'm looking forward to share with you guys. And what I've done here in this video is that I've really broken it down to three things, three things to focus on that really solves all of trading psychology um, and the issues that people have with it. So I think when people think about psychology, they think about emotions and that's a huge part of it. But the thing with, with those emotions is that you need to solve what is causing the emotions. And so it really isn't, emotions is an underlying factor of it that creates your actions to do bad things. Um, but it's, it's, something behind the scenes that we're going to talk about that really fixes that. So it comes, breaks down into three things. And those, that's what I'm going to be sharing with you here in this video. All right. So if you're in the discord, you probably hear me say this all the time, but mastering strategies is like the number one way to cure trading psychology. So all of the emotions that you get, a huge part of it is from stems from the fact that people haven't mastered a strategy and notice that I'm using the word master. So it's not just about having a strategy. It's easy to have a strategy. People can watch a video and have a strategy, uh, but they're not actually implementing it. So they're not having application of that strategy and they're not mastering it and mastering it in real time. So that's definitely the number one hands down. If you get a strategy that you master, you feel confident in, you use consistently to the point that you can rely on it when you see the proper signals line up in place that cures a lot of emotions. At that point, it's just plug and play because you've seen it happen so many times, you trust it, you feel confident. So you have the good emotions to follow in order to back up your, your process and your system. So mastering strategies by, by far number one in regards to that. But 
there's a second one that even when you have strategies mastered, you've got to have this second piece in order to really complement it. Focus on just one thing at first. So just one strategy. You're not trying to take on five, 10, you know, two or three even different ones. You want to just focus on one strategy and master it. That strategy will work. So the need arises though, that you want to be actively trading. You want to be in more trades, yet your strategy probably is only executable X amount of times. You probably can't execute it every single day. And so in order to trade more often, you need more strategies. You need strategies on different time frames. You need strategies with different indicators, et cetera. The more strategies you have, the more trades you can take more often, consistently, profitably, and confidently. Okay. But to start off, you've got to have the discipline to just focus on one strategy and mastering it. All right. So here's that little piece that complements the strategies and that's managing your risk. So just because you have a strategy that you feel confident in, you can't just go all in with your entire account on it and not be able to manage your risk. That, that includes where your stop loss goes. Okay. That includes how much capital of your account that you're risking in that single trade. All right. So there's several things that go into managing your risk. If you manage your risk though, and you have a strategy that you've mastered, talk about really relieving all your emotions. You've got your confidence. You got less stress. You don't have anxiety or fear. And basically all the emotions that come down to trading, it basically boils down to two emotions and that's either fear or greed. And so greed kind of sounds like a nasty word, but we envelop a lot of different emotions into it. It really just boils down to those two though, fear and greed. Managing your risk is going to help relieve the emotions that are, that bring you into that. Okay. Uh, so mastering strategies, managing your risk. And then we've got the third one now. Now for the third one, most people were probably thinking that I was going to throw emotions in here, but the reality of it is, is that emotions are like a sub factor. It's like a sub component of everything that's going on. So discipline encompasses those emotions. It encompasses a lot, really. You need the discipline to follow your strategy, the discipline to master a strategy, the discipline to manage your risk, the discipline to control your emotions. Okay. So discipline really envelops a lot into it. And we're going to dive into that more in the future videos on how to like deal with these emotions and how to have the discipline, how to have some mental health and uh, brain health overall, as we go through this process as well and kind of share some stories along with you as we do that. For now, the trading psychology really, if you just focus on these three things, mastering a strategy, managing your risk, and having the discipline to follow your system and the discipline to control your emotions, then you've got trading psychology mastered. You got to figure it out. It's boom, spat down. It's good. I hope this video was valuable to you. If you're interested in joining the Discord, links are going to be down in the description below. You can come check it out, learn more in there. We've also got the Elliott Wave Masterclass as well, which has Fibonacci analysis as well as time analysis in it as well. Killer course. You should check it out. I'll see you for the next video.